1997 Ford F-350 XLT Power Stroke Diesel 4x4 161,000 miles. Let's take a close up look and walk around here. Being a 97 here, a uh, 14 year old truck, the paint, uh, you know, has probably seen better days. Clear coat is not missing, but uh, looks a little faded and uh, in need of a good uh, wax and a polish to kind of bring back a little shine to it. But um, the paint itself is in good shape. There's no big uh, sections where there's uh, clear coat or paint peeling or uh, rust coming through. It, it looks pretty good. So starting on the on the right fender, once again, pretty dull uh, top coat uh, just from being outside and uh, in, in the water and elements but the paint is intact. Front right door uh, looks pretty good. There's a little um, separation of the molding right there. You can see just a, a fraction where it just kind of sticks out just from heat and age. Got uh, the chrome plating across the, the bottom here. Um, looks good on the rear right door. Nothing uh, to speak of there. The right truck bed side uh, looks pretty good. I mean, you've got a couple little minor little clear coat scratches here and there. You can expect that on any work truck that's got 160,000 miles, but pretty nice overall. Rear tailgate uh, is pretty darn clean. Doesn't look like it's been uh, excessively abused or beat up. On the rear left corner, uh, there's a little touch-up paint someone put here and, and a few good little scratches right there, if you can see those. Left side of the bed. Got a little rock chip on the uh, gas door here. And it's just on the outer door. A little bit of surface rust and about a half inch section that could use some touch up paint. That's on the rear tank. And then on the front tank, um, door looks great, but the molding is uh, kind of coming away. Uh, looks like it just needs a little, this uh, double sided tape doesn't have any stick to it and probably just needs a new little piece of double-sided tape to hold that against so it's just kind of barely sitting out not a big deal uh, otherwise that left uh, side of the truck bed you know no no rust no uh, major issues you know here's a scratch here about two inches long um, more chrome plating you know runs up and down the truck got a little bend in this top little plate rail here um, you can see that sitting up off the lip there and there's a little bend right through here uh, looking in the truck bed, you know, it's missing paint. Uh, it's been used. Obviously, uh, we've got the hole cut here. I'm sure that's some kind of an attachment for fifth wheel. I don't know a lot about these, so I'll let you decide. Uh, we've got a spare, full-size spare tire back here, matching the other four that are on the truck right now. Glass is all in good condition. Tinted windows. Down here on the rear left door, at the very bottom of the door, there's a little surface rust right here just above the chrome strip. Now as I'm, as I'm scratching that, it's definitely surface rust, uh, is not cancer, and has not gone through the, uh, the bulk of the sheet metal there. So this could probably be just sanded down and, and do a little touch-up paint there to, to cure that and curb it. A few little rock chips across the bottom of this door here. On the driver's door, a couple of rock chips here and there, a couple of really light scratches in the clear coat. Uh, you don't notice them when you stand back a couple of feet, but when you get up real close, you'll see them. Uh, once again, the paint, you know, just on any of the the surfaces that get a little more uh, vertical, uh, horizontal rather than vertical, start to lose a little bit of the shine just from sun baking and exposure to the elements. Uh, front left fender, a little rock chip there, a couple little light clear coat scratches. The hood's in great condition. Um, I mean, it's all there. There's no, no rust or anything crazy going on. There's a, a section right here that's lost a little bit of uh, paint, but it's uh, been touched up and sealed. There's a little rock chip there. And the chrome on that front uh, bumper looks uh, good. It's all intact. Prospector all-terrain American tires. Um, you know they're not new tires, but uh, the wear the wear bar is right there, and they've got uh, probably a quarter inch to the wear bar, so there's still 
pretty good tread on those tires. They'll pass the Utah safety inspection without any trouble. Walk around and take a look at all four of those tires. Rear tires are actually, uh, this one at least has better traction and uh, better tread, so these tires have probably been rotated around. There's a little more space to the wear bar there. Um, as I look at those, and I'm actually going back to the spare tire, that is a different brand. Wild Country Radial TXP. So, it's got a matching uh, rim, but uh, the tire is different. Okay, the rear bumper, let's take a closer look at that. The chrome's in good shape. The uh, plastic step right there has got a little tear in it. A couple of rock chips across the back here. Chrome is otherwise in good condition. End of video part one.